Hello guys, and welcome to Mad Multiverse. This is our brand new channel, where we will be sharing some awesome content with you. So if you like what you see, be sure to like the video, subscribe to stay up to date on new Mad Multiverse adventures, and leave us a comment on what you would like to see in future videos. Have you ever wondered what it would look like to have all of your favorite characters from anime to Marvel to DC rolled up into one fan manga? Well, look no further as we dive head first into your new favorite comic book of all time. Welcome to our newest comic, My Ultra Academy. That's right, folks. Deep within the heart of UA, we also feature Goten and Trunks from Dragon Ball Z, Miles Morales and Gwen Stacy that we pulled right out of the Spider-Verse just for you, Baruto and Serata, and many more of your favorites, all wrapped neatly into a fanfic made with you in mind. Now, let's get to the featured presentation, plus Ultra! As we begin our journey through UA, we see the greatest teachers of our time. Gohan, Jean Grey, Sasuke, Tony Stark, Laxus, Kampachi, All Might, Eraserhead, all meeting to help the students utilize their powers and abilities better. Tony Stark walks in. Sorry I'm late. Hi, I'm Tony Stark. It's nice to meet you all. Gohan. Don't worry, Tony. We haven't been here long. And then All Might. Okay. Everyone is here. I'm here to talk about the students from around the world. You guys are here to teach the students to reach their potential. Gohan. I see. So we are here to help them utilize their powers and abilities better. Jean Grey. Professor X teaches us to bring out young ones' talents and show them how to love their gifts. Laxus. I've never actually taught as a sensei before, but I will make these guys tough. Kimpachi. I'm not really good at teaching weaklings, so I hope my students are strong. Eraserhead. This is going to be a very interesting year. Then Sasuke goes, I see the teachers here have many unique and special abilities. So that should be interesting to see. All Might. Yes, you guys are all very strong. So please, look after our young ones and teach them to be mighty warriors to save the world one day. Tony Stark. Hmm. Well, this is an interesting group. I'm excited to see what potential they have here. Meanwhile, Trunks is trying to keep up with Goten's flying as they race towards the UA Academy. Trunks. Goten! Wait up! Goten. Hello, Trunks. Hey, Trunks. W what's with the school, anyway? Trunks. Well, my mom says it's to be a hero. Like the great Saiyan man. As they arrive closer to the UA building, they see guys dressed up in all kinds of weird cosplay. Trunks. What? Wait a second. Is that our school? What the heck are they wearing? Goten. Hmm. I think we're wearing the wrong clothes. 
As they fly overhead, they see two people complimenting each other's attire. Yo, nice outfit. Not so bad yourself. If I can take a breather here, this interaction is actually what inspired the comic book. I wondered, what would happen if Goten and Trunks joined UA and fought alongside the hero class? But why stop there? Why not include all of the greatest heroes into the ultimate comic book? Okay, enter Miles Morales and Gwen Stacy of the Spider-Verse. Will they have what it takes to tackle their greatest challenge yet, UA? Let's find out. Here we see Miles and Gwen swinging through New York on their daily patrol. Gwen. Hey Miles, what's up? Fighting any villains? I'm bored. Miles. Gwen. I've just been so mesmerized by all those other Spider-Man that we met. They're so different from you and I, and I wonder, can we be more? Gwen. What do you mean, Miles, when you say more? Miles. If it wasn't for those other Spider-Man, we would have lost that battle. Gwen. You know, I feel the same way. I want to be stronger, but how can I get stronger than I am? Miles, I want to be able to save people from powerful enemies. I don't want to rely on other people. Gwen, yes, that would be nice. Miles, I heard of a school in Japan where superheroes go to train, but I don't know if it's like metahuman heroes. Gwen, I see. If the school can help us get stronger, we should go. Miles, <laughs> I gotta ask my parents first. We can't afford something like that. Gwen, let's just apply and see what happens. A month goes by and Miles and Gwen receive an acceptance letter in the mail. Miles, all right, we got in, and everything is free. Japan, here we come. Gwen, now that we've been accepted, are you a little scared? Miles, yeah, I don't know what to expect, but I'm ready to accept what awaits us there. What happens next? Do Miles and Gwen make it to the Hero Academy? How will they measure up to the other students? Do our Dragon Ball heroes ever change their wardrobe? Thank you for watching and listening to my Ultra Academy story. There is so much more to come, so be sure to hit the subscribe button and see what happens next. Thank you again. Plus Ultra!